Hey guys, welcome back to Living Gratefully, where we try to remember to live gratefully because it's the absolute best way to live. If you like cleaning videos, you are here at the right place because we have some deep speed cleaning to do in the bathroom today. I've not cleaned in a while and you can see there are spider webs under here and hair and dirt on the baseboards. It's so bad that it really stuck to my hand here. It's sticky from the hairspray and all. I need to dust the blinds, clean the window and the mirrors, sinks, the tub, the floors, the toilet, the baseboards. I'm going to put my power scrubber to work on the inside part of this faucet. When you lift this handle, you can really see how dirty it is under there. And I just want to show y'all when you see my videos and if you think things are, things are always clean, well, they're really not always clean. I'll back up right here and you can see that from far away it looks great, but up close you can tell I haven't cleaned this tub in a long time. It's possibly since my last bathroom clean with me video. Maybe I wiped it out once in between there, maybe not, I really can't remember, but it's my least favorite job. Here is everything I'll be using today. I do want to try this method wood cleaner on our vinyl plank flooring. Y'all know I love my O cedar mop and I also have the Bona mop which is great for quick jobs. But I do every now and then just like to get on my hands and knees and I thought I'd try this method cleaner with the microfiber cloth this time. I like to use a regular cheap washcloth. I buy the pack of them from Walmart for baseboards and doors and trim. They have that little scrub action since they're terry cloth and I'll use some dish soap and you know I'll be using my dish soap spray on the mirrors and the window. And here's the power scrubber and of course I have to have a ton of microfiber cloths nearby. Tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just hate me I don't know what is on this window, but don't worry, the dish soap spray will get it. And then for either trim or baseboards, I usually use my favorite Lysol cleaner. It's just great for that. It's a little stronger than the dish soap spray, and therefore I don't have to scrub hard to get like sticky spots off and the spots and the grime just come right off of baseboards and trim and doors and stuff like that. It also works great on the toilet, the fridge, really anything. By the way, did you guys see my top five cleaning products video? If not, I'll have that link below in the description box for you. I got this feeling like it's starting now, starting now. I feel adventurous with you.
I always clean something really gross first with a paper towel or something that can be thrown away like a Swiffer. Then I'll go in with a little more spray and a microfiber to polish it, really get it clean and grab anything that I left behind. the faucet and the shower head and I'll use my power scrubber and you'll see the amazing results. You know there's sometimes a rag just works better when it's soaking with the solution and you've been using it a while and then there's other times it just works better if it's fresh and dry so I like to have several microfiber cloths nearby so I can just grab one whenever I need it.
this conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a wall and every time i trip it's a free fall why don't you have I got a little carried away with the dish soap this time. You don't need this much. The baseboards were so dirty that I wanted that extra soapiness, but I didn't need that much. And in fact, I ended up going back over it with a wet rag to get some of the soap off. But they are extra clean now, so I like cleaning with dish soap, but I don't like doing dishes. Anyone else feel me on that? Comment below if you feel the same. Also, leave me a comment if you like to clean your floors on your hands and knees. I like to do this every now and then, but definitely not every time. Just wanna dance on our own 
Okay, y'all, here's my mess. The pile of dirty rags, all my tools I need to put away, take the trash out, then I'll take you around the bathroom and show you the result of our deep speed cleaning today. The power scrubber did an awesome job, but at the bottom of the faucet, there is some glue that is impossible to come off. If y'all know how to get that off, let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate any tips, so please share with me. Now this is amazing. I love how well the power scrubber cleaned the shower head and it was so quick and easy. I didn't have to zip tie a bag of vinegar up there and leave it overnight. It's just done and it looks so much better. We have a few new subscribers, so I want to say welcome to y'all. And when you guys are down reading the comments, if you see anyone new down there just joining us, give them a warm welcome to Living Gratefully. Thank you guys so much for watching today and did you clean along with me? I'd love to hear about it if you did. Please leave a comment down below. I love reading your comments. It really makes my day. Please give this video a like if you like deep speed cleaning videos. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see y'all next time. Bye!